tell me things Seems like they're just happier than us these days These days I don't know how to talk to you I don't know how to be there when you need me It feels like the only time you see me Is when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently Camera struck a pose if someone help you Put lipstick on about it is just a oh my god this book okay so today's video is just DIY jean shorts and I wasn't really sure what to call it but it's basically like how I distress my shorts or whatever and I don't know if this is highly requested or whatever but yeah I always wear I have a lot of shorts like basically all my shorts I made myself they're all just like jeans I thrifted and then I just like you know cut them and chop them up and everything and so I just figured I would show you guys how I did it because it is relatively easy I guess and it's like pretty fun to do and since it is summer it's not even summer anymore school is coming back rip since it's summer but like since it's warm out I was like short season whatever I'll show you guys how I made them because I decided to like make some shorts before my trips so that I could wear them and since I have them in a lot of my photos which you can see if you follow me on Instagram there's a link below. but um since you see them a lot you know on my social medias I just figured I would show you guys and share with you how I made them so I hope that you guys enjoy this and yeah so these are what the first DIY shorts look like and these are kind of like a half cuff distress short. That's how I would describe it because it's not fully clean So first clean I'm just going to start off like with trying still. on the jeans. I thrifted these by the way and I'm just going to draw a line where I want the length to be. Then I just took the jeans off and laid them out and pulled the pockets out of the sides and I cut where I marked and then folded it over to make sure that the measurement was precise. Once I cut them into shorts, I tried them on again just to make sure that they fit. And then I laid them back out on the bed and folded them kind of how I wanted them. And then because I wanted holes in these back pockets, I just cut small slits and then took my tweezers and started to pull out all the blue threads so that you could see the white ones. So this is basically what the back pocket holes look kind of like, and I just did a few of them on the pockets. Once I was done with that, I just started straight into distressing and fraying out the bottom of the shorts. And to do this, I just took my tweezers and kind of pulled at the edges and pulled at the white threads until they were kind of frayed out as much as I wanted them to be. Once I have distressed the edges of my shorts, I just folded them and kind of like half cuffed the bottoms of them to see what it would look like in the end. And of course, I remembered to fray the bottom like back side of the shorts too because, you know, don't want to forget that. And once I had finished distressing the ends, this is kind of what it looks like. And I just folded it over, but of course I put it in the wash. So this is what the shorts look like once they came out of the wash. As you can see, they are just a little bit more messy and distressed. And this part isn't absolutely necessary, but I just like to do it to cuff my shorts to make them like stay. And so I just take an iron and fold over where I want the shorts to be cuffed and I kind of iron it down. And this kind of just gives like a more natural crease so that it just like stays folded in place where you want it to. And this is the completed look after they have been in the wash and iron. And this is just what they look like on. And as you can see, they're kind of like more messy and distressed, but they're still cuffed. And I really like these ones. I think they're really cute. These next shorts are probably my favorite. They're just super distressed and like frayed out at the ends. And I just really like them because, I don't know, I just think they're really cute and they're super comfortable to wear and everything like that. 
So to begin these shorts, it's pretty much the same as the first pair. You're just going to try on the jeans and draw out the length you want them to be and then cut it off where you want. And once you have them cut down to the right length, um, make sure you leave a little bit extra length because you're going to be like pulling out threads and stuff. So you want them to be a little bit longer than expected. You are just going to take your tweezers and you're just going to go ham with tweezing on your shorts. So basically just take out all of your anger on those shorts and pull out all those threads. You know, if you're really angry, just pull out all those threads and like destroy them because you just want them to be as frayed as possible. Now, once you have tweezed to your desire, the shorts may still look a little flat and not like what you were expecting, but just throw them in the wash and I guarantee you once they come out, they will look like way better because something about the wash, it just like makes it messier and like fluffs the ends up or something. I don't know, but it looks way better when it comes out of the wash. So this is pretty much what the completed second pair of shorts look like. Now these last pair of shorts I would say are probably the easiest to make. These are basically just the, you know, common cuffed shorts and they give a cleaner look than the other ones. These shorts pretty much are the same as the other two. You're just going to try them on and mark the length you want and then pull the pockets out and cut along the mark. The only thing that you have to keep in mind for the cuff shorts that you don't with the other more distressed shorts is that you want to cut them a few inches longer than you want them to actually be because you will be rolling them up to a shorter length. So pretty much all that's left to do is to start cuffing the shorts which literally takes like two seconds and I just rolled mine twice but you can do it however many times you know is necessary for them to look how you want. So here again is what the final cuff shorts look like and these ones took literally like less than 10 minutes to make. It was super easy and they're just, you know, great to wear with any outfit. Okay guys, so that's the video. I hope that you liked it and that it was like easy enough to understand because I'm a really bad teacher. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you liked watching it and I had a lot of fun filming it even though you know, it took a really long time to film because, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty, like, tedious thing, like, pulling at strings, like, okay, the way I do it with, like, the tweezers, and I was literally, I was laying on my bed watching Victorious for, like, two hours pulling threads out because I made three pairs, but I mean, like, I was, like, yeah, and if you want to see behind the scenes, you should subscribe to my vlog channel at Mel Vlogs. It's, of course, linked down below and, you know, always is. So you should totally subscribe to me there if you want to see behind the scenes and see more of me. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye. <laughs>